on the banks of the Mississippi River, home to the king of rock and roll and also the Memphis Tigers, where the fans have moved the party from Beale Street and are ready for kickoff. What we have in store today, a clash between a pair of AAC squads. As we'll see, the Navy midshipmen taking on the winners of eight straight, the Memphis Tigers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Navy ready for kickoff as we get this game started. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the Memphis Tigers offense will take the first swing of the game. And there he is. When you have a guy like this, you don't mind building your attack around the running game, guys. And he's a grown man. There's no doubt about it. This offense runs through him. Everybody gets their emotion, and everything is built on him and around him. And everybody knows this guy's going to touch the football, and still, defenses can't stop him. He can run through tackles and make big things happen. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Got a man. It's Banks. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. Here's the handoff. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Grabbed in the middle, it's Banks. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. If you're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. Dialing up a second down pass play. It as he throws. And he intercepts it. He was looking for that big return to go with the pick, but he'll set him up in business at the 36. All right, I know it's early, but it's just one drive, right? You got, you got to put this behind you. It isn't how you wanted to open up. It isn't how you wanted to start. This offense has got to go to the sidelines, get with the coach, settle down, and figure out the game plan for the rest of the game. A first down for the offense. The option look. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. He's got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. On third and long, he has to throw for it. He'll try to do it himself. And sure, tackle it there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Navy will have to punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. First one of the day is off. He was called on three times in that victory last week. Memphis has the ball back and the offense ready to go to work. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. On second down, looking again to throw. Gets it out fast. At the 40, there he goes. 
And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. Takes a hit as he fires. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. A pickup of eight now to convert this third and two. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. This Memphis offense going to work again on first down. The give to the tailback. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Looking to throw on second down. Unloads to the wideout. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double-checking to make sure. The Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They're going to run it. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. That's caught. It's Hawkins. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Tiger. Big-time players make big plays in big games, man. It seems like each and every week when this guy has an opportunity in the end zone, he's coming up with a big one. That time, great job focusing and concentration. Defense not able to cover him. That's his now 10th receiving touchdown on the year. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. And here comes the Navy offense. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Let's see what they've got on second down. Run it with the fullback. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Here comes the option. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Navy will have to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. No return coming here as he signals for the fair catch and makes it right around the 30-yard line. First down here for the offense. They'll go to the ground. Still running at the 40. They make the stop, but this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Ready to fire from the pistol. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And he finds some solid space. Makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down. Make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. The Tigers get enough for the first down. the end of the quarter and Memphis has the lead. One period in the books and let's take a look at the stats. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Great. 
Use the play fake. Now to throw. Going to take a shot at this DB. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Goes to the option. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Here comes the offense on second down. Leaves it with the running back. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. On the option. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. To the ground with the back. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. Navy is clicking on all cylinders right now. They'll power it inside with the fullback. Offense gets set for second down. Now on the option. Across the 25, he's got room. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Trying to get to it. Let's it go to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Navy. And what did I start for this offense? The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. Set to advance on the football. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field scores some points. Dang, Palmer. I wish I would have played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks that were just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more, you should have ran a better route. Catch in the middle. It's Hawkins. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. Memphis getting set to snap it on first and 10. Looking for room. It's Conley. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs managed. But the way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Using the quick game. Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up in the 26 for the first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. It's just so nice to know you can start off on the first down in positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. He's going to pass on second down. Snagged in the middle. It's Banks. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Memphis hoping to take advantage of this red zone trip. To the ground to try to move the chains. He almost punched it in for six. They'll get him down at the one-yard line. He now has 91 yards rushing, and that should be no surprise. He's been... A Into the end zone, he goes. Touchdown, Tigers! There have been miniseries, novels, movies, 
long four plays that have been over in shorter period of time than that drive. That was a marathon. And that's just so frustrating when you're a defensive guy time and time again trying to get the stops and they just keep making the plays and they punch it in for a touchdown. Demoralizing. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And Navy will go back on the attack. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you've played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Dumps it to the back. Got his man quickly. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. Back to throw, it's Woodson. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't hook up. This is going to be a key that we look at this entire game. How can this defense find ways to affect this quarterback and get pressure on him? Because they felt coming into the game, if they could do that, they could affect him and influence this passing game. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. Going to try to get it himself. He scrambled forward and got a few and turned that into a positive play. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. They're facing a third down. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Throws to the wideout. And that one falls incomplete, trying to get a chunk play on that one. Navy will have to punt it away. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. Memphis has the ball back, and the offense ready to go to work. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Fires to the wideout. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to make magic with his feet. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Nice job, nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. Oh, look out, there he goes. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And the Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. You do. It's early, but you got to find something positive. Right now, everything going in the other direction. So how are you going to respond when you've been hitting the mouth early in this football game? Got to find something positive quick. They got the late touchdown on the board. Now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And the midshipman offense making its way back onto the field. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. We're a little bit down. Listen, I just think this is a point in the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here. We're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. A third and long coming up here. 
scanning the field. It's Woodson. On the move and looking deep. But he toasts the coverage. Got it deep downfield. And that's a live ball. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. First half coming to an end offensively to try to put a drive together, get back in this ball game. The last thing you wanted to do was turn the football over, dig yourself an even bigger hole. Not good execution by the offense. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. On second down, they'll take to the air. The short hand, it's Hawkins. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Memphis will send the punt team onto the field. Makes the catch and now looking for just a little bit of daylight. Boy, he almost finished this half with a bang, and are they lucky to get him stopped? They're, they're eager to head to that dressing room right now. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a very intriguing first two quarters of football in Memphis. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. Memphis about to boot it away to start the second half. Looks like he's going to try to return it. And the returner is stopped. And here comes the Navy offense. Down two possessions to start this third quarter. They'd love to build some early momentum. You ain't lying, because you only got so many possessions here in the second half. So now you're down. I got to maximize every single one and put your best plays together. Start this drive off on a good note. Yeah, it starts right here. Obviously, you can't get it all back on this drive, but you can create that momentum. You can create something special and some energy, but it's going to start with this offense here executing at a high level. And he finds enough running room, and he's marked down at the 20. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down, or else they are really in trouble. They'll run the option. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. Navy will have to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. That's usually prime return position, but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. Hands it off. We'll give him a couple on that one, second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple at second and eight, He's looking to throw. Going up top. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air. Offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't picked. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. Quickly complete. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. They really have no choice here. This is a no-brainer. You go for it here on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Caught near the sticks. It's Hawkins. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Memphis coming to the line with a fresh set of downs. The give to the back. At the 35, he's got room. He now has 106 yards on the ground, and he has his eyes fixed on leading the nation in rushing. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. Quarterback will audible.
looking to go up top on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. They'll snap it from the 28 in field goal range, but it's third and short. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. It's so hard for a defense to have to stop plays like that because it really forces you to play with great eye discipline. You see the pre-snap motion. Defense doesn't know if he's just running across the field and he's going to run a route, if he's going to block, or if he has the football. That time, he was able to outflank the defense and hurt them to get that first down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Makes the catch. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it's still a positive game. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. It's good. There is a flag down on the play now. This is on the defense. The offense will have to decide whether to take the points off the board. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Got it. And guys, this is very frustrating for a defense. They forced a field goal attempt, and now what? And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Memphis! They want to finish the season strong, and man, are they doing that here in this Week 11 performance. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. First down for this offense. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Fighting off the defender. Navigates that mass of bodies and gets four out to the 17. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll run the option. And he finds enough running room and he's marked down at the 20. They've already punted four times in this game and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. On the option. Fights his way for a couple but stops short of the marker. It's fourth and one. Navy will have to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Memphis has the ball back and the offense ready to go to work. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller, too, right? It's like anything that he's calling is working flawlessly. Yeah, it's fun to be the offensive coordinator, but not the defensive coordinator. They have had no answers. It's been an absolutely miserable day trying to solve the riddle of this offense. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. He didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. On second down, just keeps firing. Got his man in the middle. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. With the catch, it's Banks. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. The Tigers have this offense rolling. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. He'll come out throwing on first down. Got him downfield. And he'll be run out of bounds, and these guys are piling up some serious yardage total. That 
That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. And get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him? In Touchdown, Memphis! And the stomping has commenced. Well, this offense has been physical. They came out of this game with a lot of pride and the ability up front and the belief that they can block people and get it done. They are dominating this defense. Three rushing touchdowns now in the game. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Navy will go back on the attack. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Looking downfield, it's Woodson. It's complete to the left. And he's got enough for a first down. Now to see if they have enough time to snap it again here in the third. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. That's the end of the quarter, and Memphis has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. He wants to throw. Spits it out to the back. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. They'll go to the air. Unloads to the wideout. It's complete. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game, but trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. And hey, listen, you get zone coverage and you can hit that curl route and he comes open continually, keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. Wants to throw on first down. Complete to the right. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Here comes Navy back to the line after picking up the first down. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Line getting set on second down. He'll ride his man on the option. And he's brought down after a nice game. Well, that's just on the defense. I'm sorry. Fullbacks are not supposed to be able to rip off big runs like that. The defense, they better do a better job tackling as this game goes on. To the air. It's Horvath. Might be looking to run. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. And I really like the decision by the quarterback there. And listen, it's early in the downs. Like, don't force it. Don't, don't make a turnover. He tucks it. Get what you can get. And then live to play the next down. I, I like that execution by the QB. On the option. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Mitch Shipman. Yeah, and listen, that, that is awesome to see the guys continue to fight, continue to keep competing because this game is over. Like, we don't need to fool y'all. We're not trying to get y'all to stick around and, and, and improve ratings. Like, the game's over, but you're continuing to fight. you powered in for the touchdown and show your kids that we're going to always fight no matter what the score is. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. They had this thing in a hammerlock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what, this offense doesn't have to change a thing. They've done what they wanted in the first half and starting off the second half in the same fashion. And I like how they're letting different guys get involved, too. They've got so many different playmakers all over the field. Got his man to the left. And he's marked down right there, but a good pickup, and it'll be a first down. 
I think most offenses around the country in a situation like this with the lead late will be trying to run the football, right, or throw it short and try to bleed the clock. But this offense, man, it's still pedal to the metal. They're looking for chunk play opportunities. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the three-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space. Got some room, headed to the goal line. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. And they'll come to the line just needing a few chain links for a first down. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. Touchdown, Tiger! And the pummeling has started. This team just knows how to finish. They keep getting better and better and better, and they are close to going 9-0. Have yourself a day, young fella. You know why they handed him the ball a lot? Because he did that. That's his fourth trip to pay dirt. This dude has shown you a little bit of everything. What a great back. And four touchdowns on the day. And the midshipman offense making its way back onto the field. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Another hit on the quarterback. All day long, this defense has been able to pin their ears back and get after this guy. And because of that, he's never gotten into a rhythm throwing the football. And that's why they find themselves trailing here late in the fourth quarter. They're bringing heat. Outside the pocket, let's go. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. Back to pass, it's Horvath. Blasted as he lets it go. This time it's complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. He's going to pass. Slides away. Finds his tight end. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. Navy is clicking on all cylinders right now. He's looking to throw it. Just gets rid of it to the running back underneath. At the 20, he's got space. Smashes through the tackle. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Navy! Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling down by a 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the Number penalty. 17. The deficit is huge. This one is all but over, but they'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. They were ready for the onside kick and executed perfectly, and they secure the football. That one did. Memphis has the ball back and the offense ready to go to work. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they wanted. Now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. They'll give it to him again. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Wants to throw. It's Chambers. Gets it out quickly. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. The Tigers have it with a first and ten. Got some room in to the goal line. Touchdown, Tigers! And the route is on. That score might be the one to put them over the top and run this 
winning streak denied. With that last touchdown, they remain undefeated. What can you say about this offense? One of the most explosive in the entire nation, and they're coming in, I think, every week with the mindset that we're just going to outscore everybody. We are okay going into a track meet, and that's really what we saw in this game today. But opponents just cannot keep pace with them and all of the athletes they have on the offensive side of the ball. And here comes the Navy offense. It has been a rather forgettable day that's finally coming to a close, David. Yeah, it's been an awful day. I mean, just not, not functioning well on offense, defense giving up a lot of points. This is a day, Palmer, they'll like to forget. Yeah, you're going to find out a lot about their character right now. Obviously, not what they hoped this would be, and that's demoralizing for a lot of these kids that have worked really hard in practice all week. But at this point here, you're just trying to prove to your coaching staff that you're not going to quit. And back to the air on second down. Going to throw it to the right. He's got his man. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man. Dialed in. You could tell they were ready. They were fast. They were physical. They dominated this football game. This one's complete. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. Couldn't get anything done on first down. Now second and ten from the 46. The aerial assault continues. Slings it downfield. Got his man. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains, and he's got it at the 34. And you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understand the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding them. Nice catch. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. To the air, it's Horvat, feeling some heat. I'm running out, and he goes down at the 34. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man, doing everything great. Just You could tell they were dialed into what was going on, and now just throw another sack in the equation, hitting the quarterback, being disrupted. They've been all over the field. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't... They haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next week. Desperately wanted to convert on fourth down, but couldn't do it. Off the play fake on first down. Throws to the wideout. Complete to the left. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Well, this offense has just been dialing up explosive play after explosive play. That's a big part of why they have a huge lead at this point. Even in the fourth quarter with that lead, they are still taking shots. They are still being aggressive. Pedal to the metal. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. They'll throw again after the incompletion. And here's a fumble way behind the line. And the defense jumps on it, and they get that turnover. You know, as quarterbacks, you've got to be good in the pocket. Even when things are collapsing and you've got guys swiping at it, you've got to have two hands on the football. Didn't do a really good job with ball security there, and that led to the fumble. He's taking the shot. Touchdown, midshipman! He broke away from the defense, and they couldn't catch him. And a nice touchdown, continuing to fight, continuing to play. This one, it, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It, it would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense, continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays. From inside the 15, chance for a good return. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. They'll run this play from the pistol. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Oh, he wants it all. 
Pass is incomplete. The clock is down to nine. And how about this offense? They're, they're not worried about the clock. They're not worried about the score. They're not worried about early and down. Still trying to execute their offense. Still trying to make big plays. And they've had a great day so far. Misfired on first down, back to the air on second. Makes his connection. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. Dropping back, it's Chambers. Pulls it in. And that will be the final play as the clock strikes zero here. Plenty of fireworks in this one.